Would you like to gather valuable feedback from potential customers without even needing to send out a survey? I'm going to show you three different ways to do this and this will really solve this market research problem for you if you feel that you can't send out a survey, it just isn't something that your audience would fill out. So if you're thinking that this lecture is for you and you're going to have no more excuses. So the first way to get feedback is actually just go ahead and talk to somebody. Yes, uh, as scary as it seems, talking to people can just be the most effective way to get feedback. Now you can call people up or you can meet people in person. But the key thing I want to say is that the questions that you'll be asking them are the same questions that we have in our survey here. So this is a basically a script for you to do your market research. For example, I was talking to somebody recently. I said, hey, what's the biggest single problem you have with your business? And he said, well, I've got 18 employees and managing them is a really difficult thing to do. And he said, I asked him, well, what, what difference would it make if you had a good solution to managing your employees and he said well it would be fantastic I could really focus on the higher level things in my business rather than managing them and being also almost a therapist to them which is the opposite reason to why I hired them in the first place I hired them to get rid of tasks outsource things and uh, then I asked him well how difficult has it been for you to really manage your staff more efficiently he said it's been very very difficult I've hired even a staff manager but then they hire somebody who's poor and then I have to fire them. So I'm, I'm not getting away from this problem. So that is a pretty serious problem. And if I could develop a solution for him, like uh, maybe having a more defined hiring process, characteristics of people they're looking for, a culture within the company that's defined, that would be extremely valuable to him. So he could hand that to his hiring manager and there's going to be something consistent. Similarly, I could say, what's your single biggest problem in your personal life? He could say, well, you know what? I've got a five month old baby and she doesn't sleep at night. Well, what, what difference would it make? Well, if I could sleep, I'd be less stressed at home, wouldn't fight with my wife. I'd have more energy for work and uh, I could get better results. Well, that's a pretty you know, good outcome. And then how difficult that has been? Very, very difficult. We've tried different books, different online courses, sleep training. It's uh, difficult. So if I can de develop a solution that would solve that problem for him, there are some very clear, urgent pain points, some very positive outcomes. So if I can do that, well, I'm going to do pretty well and sell a lot of my course or product or whatever. So that's number one, talking. Remember, you have the script. Now, the second way that you can gather feedback without needing a survey is to come into a Facebook group that you have joined that has your target audience within it. Come down into the search bar here and you're going to search for some specific words that are really going to uh, highlight some pain points of the people in this group. So, for example, complaint is a word that you will see, I've seen complaints here about early requests for reviews. Now this is a group for Udemy instructors and basically it's not important for you to know what the problems are, but this has surfaced up a lot of problems that these people have. Blurry video screens, that's kind of Udemy's technical problems. The early review system, that's Udemy's kind of system and instructors aren't happy with it. So if I could design a way or, or at least inform these instructors of how to beat that early request uh, for review system or how to record your videos so that they appear the best. Well, I'm going to solve a lot of people's problems and they're one, going to pay me or at least I'll get their attention that I can uh, monetize later on. So that is something you can do. Complaint. Hate is another word that pe people time type in here. You know, that can surface a lot of pain points as well. Bottleneck is another great one as well. Let's see what this surface is up. But, you know, what's the bottleneck for people in their business? Various bottlenecks. What part of course creation do you hate the most? I hate video editing. So again, 
we've got that hate word there. We've got 19 comments, people saying what all their pain problems points are. So that's another good word you can put in. Stress is maybe another word as well. So um, you can find out what's stressing people out and uh, that's gonna surface up a lot of pain points. Then you can find out, you know, what difference would it make? Well, if, if I, if I could do video editing faster, I could make courses faster, I could sell more. And how difficult is it? Well, you're going to get a sense of that from reading the comments. So again, keep these three questions in mind. Now, the final way that you can gather feedback from potential customers without needing a survey is to really look at review sites and marketplaces. Now, for example, Udemy is an online marketplace with a built-in review system. So if you come down to any course, let's just say design, game design, click on the first course here. You can see the reviews here. And if you filter down to the three star reviews, this usually is good because five star reviews, they're, they're not really complaining about much. One star reviews, probably too negative. And really the three star reviews are kind of quite balanced reviews. They say some good points and some bad points. So let's just have a quick look at this. The sound could also be made more audible. So that's something there. Introduction. Okay, audio is really low. That seems to be a consistent problem. Poor sound quality. Okay, how to program to skip certain lessons. So you can calm down into the reviews and have a look at you know what do people not like and then you can create a product that solves all those pain points and really gives people more what they want now where else do they have reviews well if you had a digital product you could come to udemy and you wanted to create a course if you have a physical product you can come to amazon built-in review system there any product in the world if you had a restaurant or was thinking of setting up a certain type of restaurant, you can come in and search, you know, whatever it is, spas in your area. What are people giving out about? What do they not like? What are the pain points? You can do that for restaurants, hotel, TripAdvisor. Also has a built-in review system that you can search for the type of business that you are in and um, to see what people are giving out about and not happy about. Um, other thing is for, say, small business, Google has a built-in review system as well. So you can check out, you know, what are people giving out about in these, in these dental places. You can come into the reviews, again, filter them down. Let's just look at the lowest rating and see what are the reasons that people have given this a low review and um, that'll give you some ideas of the pain points that people are struggling with. So to recap in this video, what we have done is look at three different ways for you to collect customer feedback even without needing to send out a survey and that was to just talk to people and use these three questions as a script. Number two was to go ahead and go into the Facebook groups and search for those keywords like complaint, hate, bottleneck. And the third way is to look at these review sites and marketplaces, which just have an absolute huge amount of feedback. Now, 99% of new entrepreneurs ignore this, but you've got the information now. So there's no excuse not to get a brilliant insight into the pain points and the desires of your potential customers.